I'm Dr. Roshni Rod. I'm an internist and gastroenterologist and an associate professor of medicine. I'm Dr. Gail Saltz. I am clinical associate professor of psychiatry. I am a family medicine practitioner and I'm here today to talk to you about why we should not be putting laundry detergent pods in your mouth. I can't believe I have to say this. In 2018 already there's been 39 cases in the last two weeks, which is enormous in comparison to previous years, and it's in response to a prank or a meme. Teenagers or even adults have taken this challenge where they are swallowing detergent pods. This is a horrible idea. It can be very damaging not only to your mouth, but to your esophagus and your stomach, your lungs potentially, and in some cases it can even be fatal. Long before this challenge was an issue, very young children who came upon a pod were at risk for eating it or swallowing it because they mistook it for a candy. Pretty small and so like bite-sized and so I think the idea is like well if it's bite-sized then it can't be that harmful. It's brightly colored, it's multicolored, it's squishy, it has a smooth coating that can be manipulated. People often want to hold it, manipulate it, or unfortunately put it in their mouth. The detergent pods contain, in many cases, either bleach-like detergents or other what we call surfactants, which are very damaging chemicals when your body is exposed to them. We have a very delicate lining of our esophagus and our stomach, and even our mouth, and this can be easily burned by these types of chemicals. When you first put one of these pods in your mouth, it's very likely to explode because it's just kind of contained in a plastic coating. It can dissolve with a quick bite and it also can dissolve with just like mouth moisture. So it doesn't necessarily have to be you chomping down on it. And this explosion in your mouth can cause severe burning of the membranes that are lining your mouth and your throat. If you then swallow the pod, it can go on to cause severe burning of your esophagus. This kind of damage could even cause a tear in your esophagus or an actual hole and long term could lead to narrowing or stricturing of the esophagus. It can really irritate or burn the lining of your stomach and irritate your intestines as well. When you're taking a bite of it, if you actually end up inhaling it, then you can get some of the laundry detergent into your lungs, and at that point it can irritate sort of the lung lining, causing you to cough, wheeze, have shortness of breath, and in some really serious incidences can cause sort of inflammation in the lungs leading to pulmonary edema, which is water in the lungs, and acute respiratory distress syndrome where there's too much inflammation for you to be able to breathe. Taking a high risk prank to the nth degree is not new. And young adults are very drawn to high-risk behaviors for biological reasons. The amygdala sort of says to the rest of the brain, hey, that felt good, let's do it again, which is why this age group is a particular risk for doing things that otherwise they might deem a poor idea. This is such a disturbing trend on many levels. I think because of social media, teenagers are doing a lot of things that maybe they wouldn't have done 20 years ago just because they don't have an audience for. It. So the same dynamic can be at play, for example, with something like the ALS bucket challenge, where, you know, like wildfire, it took on. It's simply the phenomenon that large groups can see an activity and can get feedback for that activity much more quickly because of social media. You absolutely can die from ingesting laundry detergent pods. For adults, it's not necessarily going to be the pods themselves that lead to the risk of death, meaning you can get seizures, you can get pulmonary edema, or you can just have a significant infection that can develop as well. If you're worried about someone you know potentially swallowing a pod, certain symptoms to look out for are abdominal pain, vomiting, nausea, fever. Right away, you want to drink a glass of water, you want to drink some milk to dilute the detergent, you want to call poison control right away, make sure to have the details, what was actually ingested, the concentration, the ingredients. You really don't want to make them vomit. That can actually lead to aspiration of the own vomit or choking on your own vomit. But if any of the symptoms ever get really serious, you have to call 911 and get to the closest emergency room. If you make something taboo, that's simply gonna stoke them. An adolescent and young adult, this desire to take risk, this desire to be anti-authoritarian may promote the desire to do just that. When these kinds of trends come up, watching media, you would have the feeling that everybody's doing something. Hey, everybody's doing it, it must be okay. Okay. Really look at the numbers, which do remain very small. Therefore, keep that in mind. Please do not put laundry detergent pods in your mouth, even if you think it's funny, if someone dares you, whatever it may be, if it reminds you of candy, just don't do it.